What up, Tube of You? Uh, I just finished my home workout for Thursday. Uh, I don't want that in the shot right there, or, or that either. So that means, ha, well, it's fixed now. All right, so tonight I'm gonna demonstrate some uh, pull-ups and some chin-ups for you. Uh, I have my handy-dandy pull-up chin-up bar right there. I got it at uh, Sport Mart many moons ago. Uh, ran me, I think, somewhere around 20 to 25 bucks. Um, you should be able to get one at Sport Authority. I'm pretty sure they are Pretty sure they're still around. If not, go online, find one. Uh, when you do get one, make sure you get the kind that can actually screw into uh, the wood panels. Or, actually, uh, I have used the ones that just kind of hook on the door frame. That is perfect. That's excellent. It's great. Just make sure your, your door frame is uh, wide enough to accept that. Um, all right, well, without further ado. <clears throat> uh, there are so many different variations one can do with pull-ups and chin-ups. I'm just going to demonstrate basically maybe three hand grips and I'll kind of tell you how they challenge you in different ways. Okay, so first I'm going to demonstrate some pull-ups. Uh, pull-ups are when your palms are towards you. You grab the bar. Uh, well, pull-ups are a lot easier to do than chin-ups and that's when you have your hands facing away from you. All right. <clears throat> if you're going to do pull-ups, the easiest grip you can do is the close grip like so. Notice that, uh, well, this bar is kind of low, but that's all right. I don't want to be hanging off the ground just yet. So, I have a nice close grip. When I pull up, notice that my body is straight. I'm not choking up with my abs or anything like that, okay? Just the shoulders, just the chest, just the biceps. There's the activation right there. Little swing action was in there, but that's okay. All right, so as long as you don't swing too much, and, you know, you can always get down and reset and stop yourself. All right, uh, the second variation is to have the grip a little bit wider, shoulder length apart. Uh, that's a little more challenging because it doesn't feel like both arms are, well, I mean, obviously they are working in tandem, but when they're closer together, they feel more like they're working as one giant arm. Here it's a little more challenging, but ugh, still the same thing as far as amount of effort put into it. All right, last grip is the wide pull-up grip. This is the most challenging because when your arms are wider, you are, how can I say this? It's not like you're activating more back muscles. I mean, you're, you're still using your back, you're just challenging it more. It's harder to do a, a pull-up or a chin-up when your arms are wider. So, you know, you really have to engage your muscles more. That's the word I've been looking for, engagement. All right, so widest grip right here. I'm out like so, boom, one, boom, two. Um, after I do uh, a couple of things, I'm going to speak a, a word or two on how, uh, on the rate of speed, one can do their pull-ups and their chin-ups and, and how that affects you. All right, so now my palms are out. I'm going to do some chin-ups. Again, this actually, even though the hands are close, because you're doing chin-ups, it's still challenging. So, whew. One, two. All right, you saw the little swing up in there with my abs right there. Uh, I am a little tired from tonight's workout, but not so tired I shouldn't be able to squeeze out a few more reps. All right, so <clears throat> now a wide grip with the chin-ups. This is the shoulder length grip. Two, Oop, don't break it. Uh, three, okay. I definitely am getting tired. Now I'm going to show you at least one. I'm going to try to squeeze out one or two reps of the widest chin-up if I can. We're going to see. I'm going to try to not cheat. All right. One, two, uh, three. All right, I really am tired. I can only squeeze out three. And the second take, or third take, or whatever take I take in this video, I got a full 12. I'm feeling really salty right now, so I'm going to rest a minute. I'm going to talk to you for a minute, and then I'm going to uh, do at least 10, but it'll probably be close. I really am tired. All right, so the rate of speed at which you do your pull-ups uh, will make a difference in your muscle endurance. Um, I've seen guys do pull-ups like so. They'll grab the bar come up and just slowly 
slowly lower themselves down. They'll do the same thing coming up, which <laughs> that might be behind me right now. All right, so what that does is that's more of a, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. It's more of an isometric type workout where you're really engaging the muscles for a longer period of time. The fact that, you, you know, you might not throw off like 20 reps that way, but four to five reps done that way, man, your muscle endurance will be great. Uh, I have a tendency to wrestle and some of my friends are wrestlers. That kind of exercise will, man, <laughs> wrestling is exhausting if, you, if you've ever done it before. It'll drain you. So uh, having that kind of muscle endurance will be great. So if you're going for that, I'm looking at the time, you might want to do something like that. I did pretty much demonstrate the push-ups already, pull-ups and chin-ups already, so I, this video is getting a lot longer than I want it to be, so I'm going to go ahead and quit it, um, what I did tonight will be posted here or here, and uh, well, that's pretty much it, okay, I can't go out like that, I got to do it at least 10, sorry, all right, let me see if I can get 10 pull-ups out, out of me right now, keep my body straight, no cheats, Ugh. one, two, three, four, five, shit, <laughs> Ugh. six, Mm, seven, that was a cheat, uh, eight, come on brother, two more, mm, mm, nine, uno mas, mm, uh, okay, I cheated, I didn't have a choice, I couldn't have done it otherwise, alright, this video is long as fuck, I'm so sorry, thanks for watching, and thanks for being a subscriber, peace, peace, Ah. Oh!